So today our corporate transformation program is taking us to the next step. It is changing the way that we work and focusing us on achieving even more major advances in technology, reliability, efficiency and integration. In today's volatile market conditions, it is becoming even more urgent to leverage this transformation so we can address our customers' needs in the most reliable, cost-effective and efficient way. Our transformation provides a systematic, coordinated approach to analyzing our business and implementing step change improvements. It is fostering teamwork across geographies, segments and functions to make our size even more of a strength than it is today. What we essentially want to do is to change the way we work to be able to bring increased value to our customers' projects and operations. We have set aggressive milestones aimed at delivering our results ahead of the Transformation's 2020 target. To succeed, we must achieve a new level of teamwork among our employees, across segments, across our functions and support organizations, and with our customers and other stakeholders. Working together cohesively will set us apart from our competition. To ensure that we stay the course of our transformation journey, DNM has defined a roadmap with measurable deliverables that, consistent with the other segments, support the six business workflows. Four of the business workflows are particularly pertinent to DNM's transformation. Those are sales planning, operational planning, product and service delivery, and technology lifecycle management. With regard to product and service delivery, we are devoted to achieving a true step change in reliability. And by the way, this is easily our segment main challenge. Our segment target, in line with the corporate transformation objective, is to improve operational reliability tenfold. Our segment initiatives to address reliability are laid by our newly deployed Operations Integrity Organization, which is aimed at enabling the field to deliver safe, reliable and efficient operations to our customers. One example is the use of Business Process Management, or BPM for short. Globally, we are inconsistent in how we prepare for and deliver our services from the office. BPM is a business system that drives frontline management to complete required tasks in the correct order. In pilot locations, the BPM system has had a positive result, adding uniformity to office-based tasks that result in time saving of over 25% for the tasks covered by the system, enabling more time for frontline managers to spend working with employees and our customers. Finally, looking at the technology lifecycle management workflow, DNM is paving the way for many of the transformation initiatives regarding maintenance and asset management. One example is the creation of centers for reliability and efficiency, or CREs, where assets are centralized across segments and regions, maintenance is professionalized, and savings are realized. Overall, our maintenance-related NPT has been reduced year-on-year year by 65%. Our latest flagship CREs in Mexico and Asia exemplify these ideas and we are seeing results such as reduced asset fleets, significant drops in maintenance-related service quality incidents, and decreased capex. The Mexico CRE in Veracruz saw a dramatic increase in tool reliability, with incidents per thousand jobs dropping from 7.5 in 29 to 1.9 in 2014. The tool turnaround time 65% lower than the segment average, and the tool pair job 25% lower than the segment average. From its centralized facility in Portland, the Asia CRE is now delivering highly reliable access to dozens of countries in Asia and B1, with a 27% reduction in material and supply cost per job as well as a 10% asset reduction with a 4% drop in activity, corresponding all in all to a 15 million US dollar gross book value saving. Over the past four years, DNM has been building transformation momentum. A good example of the segment's early win is a 30% improvement in asset utilization enabled through increased focus on equipment preparation, maintenance competency, and EMS support. This has saved over $600 million of capex in the last four years. In addition to reaching our ambitious goal of a tenfold improvement in operational reliability, we will make a step change in two other areas. Further improving working capital by more than 
reducing invoicing time, reducing field and EMS inventory levels through improved planning and utilization, and doubling our cash flow contribution with superior returns. Warren has defined the transformation roadmap which aligns our segment plans with the Central Transformation Business Workflow Plan. In May this year, we launched the Warren Planning Organization. Using a new asset rental model, the planning function ensures we have the correct fleet of assets in the right place at the right time while reducing our unit depreciation, transportation, mobilization and asset management costs. Today, we are expanding our asset centralization and rental model with 100% of the assets in North America land on the rental model, where locations pay for what they use. The future state of this planning organization will include people planning as our IT business systems evolve, with people planning pilots to be launched in 2016 and the deployment of the field delivery platform for people in 2017. We launched a structured maintenance organization which is an initial step to fully deploying an integrated technology lifecycle management organization planned in 2016, combining our maintenance and sustaining organizations to provide the most reliable assets to our service delivery organization at the lowest unit costs using reliability engineering, analytics, and reliability-centered maintenance, which are currently being expanded and expected to be fully mature by 2017. With standard work instructions and checklists created and deployed in our service delivery and maintenance workflow since 2013, in addition to other components of the wireline quality plan, we have reduced our non-productive time rate by 25% in the past two years. Today, we have over 4,400 standard work instructions covering more than 220 services. We continue to develop our standard work documents and are working to align them with the recently released Schlumberger Performance System Standard Work Guidelines via the Performance System Center of Excellence while sharing lessons with other segments. Today we're assessing our trainees and field staff against standard work instructions via commentary task assessments, standardizing our understanding of our employees' competency and ability. Through our training transformation, we are reducing time to autonomy for our trainees giving us more flexibility to respond to changes in activity. We are using multiple elements to fundamentally change our crew model to lower our cost per unit of activity. In Midland, Texas today, we are performing remote operations jobs with no supervisor at the well site and better utilizing our junior employees and improving their field exposure via remote operations support. In the last two years, we have increased our operational reliability by 25% by improving our procedural adherence through the adoption of standard work and the rollout of the Do It Right campaign. The recently introduced new Operations Integrity Organization will enable us to sustain these gains and further improve our operational performance. We have greatly improved our asset efficiency through the early implementation of barcoding and creation of centers for reliability and efficiency. This allowed us to optimize our fleet by reducing our idle assets by over 20% since 2012. Well Services is well on its way to implementing the transformation across the key business workflows. Operations planning centers directly support the product and service delivery goal of reducing our MPT tenfold. The OPC detasks our field service managers and allows them to focus on frontline service delivery to the customer. In North America, we were able to reduce our MPT rate by 77%. And in our second pilot in Macai, Brazil, we've been able to reduce our MPT rate by 42% since implementation in 2013. With the help of the newly formed Operations Integrity Organization, our field service managers will be focused on delivering safe, reliable and efficient operations to our customers through the systematic use of standard work, business process mapping, and the competency system. The unconventional play environment and our high volume fracturing activities push our equipment beyond its originally designed limits. Escalating costs from the high volume consumption of parts and fuel has necessitated a radically different approach to managing our equipment. Reliability-centered maintenance uses a comprehensive program developed around the fracturing pump to improve its reliability, reduce running costs, and increase the overall deployable time in the field. 
by analyzing the functional requirements of the unit and understanding how and where failures occur, an optimized maintenance and operational program has been devised. The optimized program is expected to yield a 50% reduction in overall failures. Similar work on the backside equipment has already led to a 35% reduction in failure since 2013. The North America Land Reliability Support Center in Denton is monitoring equipment on a continuous basis and feeding back to the operations and maintenance teams. Groundbreaking monitoring techniques are being developed that allow us to predict failures of certain key components days before the failure would take place. In the last two months, 30 failures have been avoided, with an estimated cost saving of $3 million. The dedication and knowledge of the Well Services team has enabled us to continuously improve our segment. With the transformation, we are accelerating the rate of change to improve in key areas of operational reliability, working capital, asset utilization, and people productivity. The segment has already had a number of early wins. The coordinated effort of our planning organization and regional distribution hubs has delivered a 24% reduction in inventory days. Working capital has proportionally reduced by 10%. Furthermore, an increase in asset utilization, coupled with a 31% reduction in capex spending, has improved our return on assets by 15% over the last three years. We are challenging the way we work and transforming our organization. Our success comes from the teamwork of our people who together are driving the change, organizational alignment and performance of our company. Our people are very driven to be the best in everything they do and they also are extremely committed to increase our differentiation with our competitors. We need to pursue higher degrees of teamwork now and build on the superior integrity we are known for. Our success resides with our exceptional people and their commitment to collaborating across our businesses as we implement change. By learning from one another and staying focused on our goals, we will reach a new level of teamwork and continuous performance improvement.